Sexual violence has been used as a weapon of war by most of the forces involved in this conflict. The ADF rebels, being part of the negative forces in eastern Congo, frequently and sometimes systematically raped women and girls. <laughs> ADF rebels rape women and girls as part of the more general attack in which they kill and injure civilians and destroy their properties. The ADF rebels do this to terrorize communities into accepting their control or to punish them. <laughs> Where they no longer conduct large attacks, individuals or small groups of rebel groups, they rape women and girls whom they find in the fields, in the forest and along the roads. We've been following them. Uh, so far we have killed not less than 10. We have picked out a lot of guns. We have also rescued so many people since that time, not less than 20. And we continue to do so. We think uh, the biggest part of the ADF that's uh, one uh, commander is in Mualika Valley, whom we are trying to follow. And uh, this is part of the team that, uh, that killed uh, our children in that school. These sexual violations meted on women and girls by the ADF have left many traumatized and count on the support or rescue missions of the UPDF and a Faradis army. Yenye tunaongea tunasema asante sana muendelee kusaidia na vingine viko kule mpori vingine washabebewa nao banahitaji msaada. Walikuwa na mita Amir. Abducted at the age of 14, 15 and 16 years and as sexual abused. The trauma can be vividly seen on their faces. She says Many young girls still in the bush need UPDF and FRD support to be rescued from tyrants of ADF. Yvonne Shashe was also abducted from Butembo and was forced to get married to one of the ADF commanders and has been the first marriage in the bush for three years. Yvonne is traumatized and speaks with bitterness when he talks about ADF. <laughs> These young girls were rescued by UPDF in Mwalika Valley in the night of course fires against ADF Abuakas rebel group. These young girls who are below the age of 16 years, their dilemma is carrying unwanted pregnancies. At the front line, UPDF is pushing the ADF rebels, especially in Mwalika Valley and along River Tali and Samrik, the first jungles of Eastern DRC. Haruna Mtaisa Asira, UBC News.